with us. So my nephew's trying to be real nosy. He's like walking slow. He tried to scare me, but it didn't work. Um, so I'm outside my brother's house because I've been staying here actually since I moved out of the other house. Um, not the whole time, but about the past uh, three weeks, I guess. Um, and you know, I mean, they have a lot of children. A lot. They have four. <laughs> um, so they cook a lot of food and they have leftovers. So there's extra food for me. And, um, you know, they just said you could chill on the couch downstairs. My brother has a basement. They have a basement and my brother uh, does photography. So there's basically like a studio. And so I've just been chilling down there, um, you know, most of the time. I mean, not all the time. Like sometimes I'll sleep in the van, but, you know, I've been rearranging it doing some extra stuff to it and I have stuff all over the place so um, it's just easier right now to do that um, I have plenty of time to live in the van but uh, yeah so that's on here um, plus it's a, a nice little uh, spot to park too uh, my, my sister is like two miles away from here if that uh, I have my grandmother about five miles from here my uncle's about five miles seven miles at the most from here friend that's like a block away so everybody's pretty much in this area so I have somewhere to park if I want to park but you know they always tell me just come crash on the couch if I want which that's not the reason why I got into the van thing but um like I said I'm still getting stuff together or whatever so it's just easier right now um to do that and like I said I don't do it all the time like some nights I, I do stay in the van and whatnot but anyway the point of this video was uh <laughs> love life in the van so i thought about this a few times like it's not been anything on my mind like that but um like if you meet somebody and you obviously have a van to go back to but you know I'm not, i don't really take people back to my home when i meet them like that you know i have to know you and all that stuff extra stuff but so then they would obviously know i'm in a van um and i would only want to talk to somebody who is interested in the same things or similar things that I that I am so they would obviously have to be interested in traveling um, and you know not having a whole lot of stuff um, so then it wouldn't really matter to them I'm pretty, it wouldn't be like a taboo subject or something so but anyway um, I haven't dated in a few years you know I may have talked to some people here and there but um, it's never went any further than that um, <clears throat> And it's not like my main focus right now, but I am, I guess to tell a little bit about myself, I am a uh, relationship type of person, a long-term relationship too. I don't just like jumping from relationship to relationship, like back to back, like that's not my thing. You have to like get over somebody. You can't just jump from one relationship to the other, but some people do it and I guess it works out for them sometimes, but I don't really think it's healthy. But um, anyway, so yeah, I haven't been in a relationship in a while. So, like, it would be a little bit awkward for me to really start, like, dating to get back into that groove of things. But, um, so recently I've actually been hit on, and it's been a while since then, so, uh, it's been a little, a little, a little weird, um, a little different. So, uh, that instant was pretty funny, but it was fun. It was a good time to flirt back and forth a little bit. Uh, but I just got like hit on and I never thought I would be hit on in this van like <laughs> I just had somebody yell through the window at me it was like uh, <laughs> like staring at me because I'm talking to my phone in the window but uh they're like um it was these young guys just running across the street but this one guy was like taking his time and then I'm pulling by in this van like of all things I don't know I don't really think this is like sexy but uh, he was like, what's your name or something like that? Like hollered in the window at me and I just, you know, of course it just, of course it was a stoplight too, like right there. But uh, he just, I, I'm glad he kept walking, didn't say anything, think anything else. But uh, it was pretty funny. Cause I like, I just would have even thought that anybody would even say anything if you being in this van, you know? But I, I guess I still can, uh, I still got the juice in the van. <laughs> got that mojo as they call it I guess but uh it was pretty funny so I just will make a quick little video about that maybe later I'll make one uh more about um like the love life in the van or whatever like dating and whatnot uh living in a van I see you trying to sneak up on me again it's not working <laughs> all right well I'll check out later